Hey, welcome back to Triple R. I'm going to take a look at this Dungeons & Dragons Adventure Begins board game. There's quite a bit of stuff in there. Let's check it out. Alright, we have Dungeons & Dragons Adventure Begins, a cooperative board game. Your fun, fast entry into the world of D&D. Uh, ten and up, two to four players. Mm. So, a bit of components. Pretty heavy. Hasbro, Wizards of the Coast. So, probably not going to be a uh, instructional video. It's going to be an unboxing. So, I've, ne I've never played it. So, I think it's brand new. <coughs> I think it's pretty cheap. It was like 19 bucks off um, Amazon. So, these are. Very sturdy and look pretty cool. We have the Gauntlet Grim. Locations, I guess. Never Winter. Famous location. And D and D. Never Winter Wood. Mount Hope now. So these pop out. We'll leave them in for now. Instructions here. Very nice art. He gets the job done. So it's supposed to, you know, introduce people to the world of D&D. So they made it more like, kind of like a video game, colorful art, which is not not a bad thing. There's the contents we're going to get. Four minifigs, four 20-sided hero dice, some boss stand, four boss tiles, a 10-sided dice, some damage clip, health trackers, so on and so on, dungeon boards. And adventure decks, gatekeeper decks, item decks, eight backpack cards, four reference cards. Good amount of stuff you're gonna get. Uh, first time you play, pop up everything, blah blah blah. Adventure cards and so on and so on. This looks cool. This looks pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's see here. Some more pop out stuff. Got a Beholder. They gave him names. This is Felbris the Beholder. <laughs> Death Sleep the Green Dragon. So they might be from like Forgotten Realm novels or wherever. Uh, some D&D lore. The Kraken, we know who that is. Orin the Fire Giant. So let's see, let's hopefully this focus is okay here. So nice art. And we have the Healer, the Bandit. Some of those are what are these? Wander. Oh. Those aren't character classes, right? Okay, so there's a reference card. It has a tracker on here. Alright, here's your classes. Got a rogue, a sorcerer, a bard, dwarf fighter. So, well, that's all the classes there. Let's see the art a little bit better. Again, nice art. I think it serves the purpose for the theme. Uh, everything is pretty easy to read. Which is also nice. Some more uh, counter tokens looks like. And we have your in-game action figs. Well, <laughs> not action figures. Go in-game um, pawns pieces. So, you probably can replace these with your own miniatures. You just need, a, well, like a dwarf fighter anyway. Dwarf fighter, who was this? Oh, this is Dragonborn, okay. Dragonborn. Or Sorcerer and Bard. 
but it's a good idea. You know, color schemed, very easy to to read. It's almost kind of like Gauntlet, the old video game. So not quite the same color scheme, but you know what I mean. Undead townspeople. <laughs> so there's a life tracker here. Um, usually I don't open these up, but why not? I do want to see the art on them. And again, I won't be able to play this probably for a little while again. So let's see if they're in the book. But this case is nice. This box, storage for everything. Put your cards here. Once you do open your decks, it will all fit nicely. It might look like the character cards, so on and so on. We have a little room for expansions later on. These are your life trackers. Again, easy to read, which is nice. Pretty sturdy plastic. So far, by the looks of it, I'm impressed. Uh, I did read complaints on some of the reviews. They said the gameplay is kind of samey, but I mean, it's, it's to introduce people to D and D. Not to like get five charts out and check armor class and this, this, and this. You know, when you jump into a board game. And it's, I think it's designed for families as well. You don't want to spend 35 minutes, you know, killing one orc. Let's see if we've got some card art in here. Hopefully we do. Uh, that's just the tops of the art. Those the characters we've seen already. Well, we got the, the boss monsters. So choose your journey. There are four boss monsters with unique storylines to play through. So read each story. And decide as a group which boss your party will fight at the end of the game. That's kind of cool. So you got four bosses to beat. I'm sure, we got all the abilities. So the dungeon will look like that. Looks like. So you go from one to the other. Also pretty cool. This will be in front of you, I'm sure. you're going to need. It's also nice. Yeah, it looks like you surround the cards maybe. Hmm. Interesting. We have the order of combat. So instruction book's not too bad. Seems like it's pretty uh, well done. Uh, at least look at an item here. What's this? So what's this item? <laughs> no, no, this is a I mean, an event pipe fence on fire. A magic instrument sets your enemies ablaze. So plus two after use. Oops, flip card until you moved to the next location. So maybe each location, the uh, your items reset. Give me a quick breakdown of the races that you're going to be playing and then the classes that, that they are. Pretty cool. So I am looking forward to playing this actually. But it might still be a little while before I'm able to get around to it. So there it is, a quick unboxing, a little bit of an overview of it. Dungeons and Dragons. Adventure Begins, cooperative board game. I haven't got a chance to play yet. I am looking forward to playing it. Looks like something I would like. So, the art's cool. You see, I think it was 20 bucks, maybe cheaper on Amazon. So I can't give a game review, but it looks good to me so far. But you know, you know how that can be. Cool components, good art. And if you're a fan, I think you probably pick it up anyway, just so you have on hand, you can play with like, uh, I guess non-hardcore RPG um, players. Maybe you can lure them in to the world of D&D. &D. I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching Triple R.